Welcome back to another OnlineDrummer.com Monday Drum Lesson. I'm Nate Brown. In this lesson, I'm going to go over an easy way to get the most out of your beats. And what I mean by that is that sometimes we learn a beat and then we move on without really exploring the potential of that pattern. And in this lesson, we're going to be taking beats that you may already know how to play, and we'll be taking the left stick and reorchestrating it around the kit. You can get the lesson sheet for this on OnlineDrummer.com. Download it, print it. Let's take a look at number one. Number one's just a, a basic beat. You probably already have played this before or heard it. One and two and a three and four. Take a look at one B. This technique here takes all of the left stick snare strokes that aren't on two and four and just moves it to the hi-hat. So you can look back to 1A for a reference. You see that there's only one stroke on the snare that's not on 2 and 4, and it's on the uh of beat 2. 1 and 2 and uh. So for 1B, it just takes the uh and moves it to the hi-hat. Playing it on the hi-hat instead. It's the same pattern. We're just reorchestrating it to different surfaces. With the snare, not with the hi-hat. And if you give it some swing, it sounds cool. And a three and four. Take a look at 2A. 2A is that bass pattern. I put swing on it. And 2B takes all of the snare strokes that are not on the 2 and 4 and plays them on the hi-hat. And I'll speed that up. I'll play 2A twice and then go into 2B. I played it four times. Now two B. So the idea here is that you could take a beat that you've practiced and you've learned, and rather than going on uh, uh, to the next beat, try to reorchestrate it. Make some changes to it so that you can reuse that same pattern you've already built the coordination for in, in a different way. Three A. Put swing on it. And a one. And then three B. And you could bring out the hi hat by hitting it uh, a little looser. I'll play that faster, three B. A. 3B. And number four demonstrates the same technique. Uh, the pattern's the same as in 3A, uh, but the right stick is on the ride symbol. So it demonstrates the technique when you're playing the ride symbol. And you're still going to play the hi hat with the left stick in 4B. I'll, I'll do 4B. Four A, four B, and a little faster. So you can hear that it sounds like a more complicated pattern because you've got this syncopated uh, hi-hat stroke going on. But it's the same as in 4A. Just moving that left stick around. The same concept works for toms. So instead of moving your left stick to the hi-hat, 
You can move it to a tom on all the strokes that aren't a two or four. So number four could be something like this. And I'll put a, a little more swing on it. And you can even mix up toms and some hi-hats. So. Or we'll go back to the snare. There's all kinds of things you can do. Once you've built the coordination to play uh, one of those beats, whatever it is, try moving the stick around the kit because you've already built the coordination to play that pattern. You're just going to be moving it around. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and have fun moving your left stick around the kit. Check out OnlineDrummer.com for sheet music to your favorite songs. We've got articles, beats, all kinds of things to keep you drumming throughout the week. Have a great week of drums. Keep drumming.